two more to go. Tristan Harris, please take it away. Hey everyone, uh, Tristan Harris, uh, white male, red hair, black shirt, uh, calling from San Francisco. Um, my provocation is, is an information system that is driven by the virality of user-generated content compatible with democracy functioning well? Uh, and if so, what are the conditions that would need to be true? Uh, and if not, what does that say about what needs to change? So excited to talk more about that. All right, Tristan. Yeah, uh, so we, we talked about is an information system driven by the virality, uh, the, the sort of resharing, retweeting model where anything clicks and gets shared the most goes viral. Is that compatible with uh, democracy? Um, maybe unsurprisingly, maybe surprisingly, everyone was basically saying no. Um, <laughs> and I want to also uh, mention that even if you fixed sort of economic incentives and the fact these are publicly traded companies that can't do something other than that, even if you had that, you had a publicly interested NPR based social media type system, if it's based on virality, I still, there's this question of, is it compatible with democracy? I think the answer we were getting to is no. We talked about what different design features would it, would you need to have? Um, we talked about the obvious ones, like adding more friction, slowing things down, limiting posts to one per day, uh, paid moderators, requirements for paid moderators, having size restraints, not having global broadcasting, timeouts, one minute breaks, things like that. And people uh, also brought up the examples of letter.wiki, which is a, um, service, other mechanisms for de-escalation uh, when conflict arises. Um, uh, there's more to say about that, but I want to keep my time short. Okay, great. Thanks so much, Tristan. Uh, Tristan.